All I'm going to do on social media is basically say that if you've got a business that currently benefits from word of mouth um, in any kind of format, whether it's an offline business, online business, whatever it might be, um, then social media is basically word of mouth on, online. Um, so it's, 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 a, it's a definitely another core strategy. So we've got search engine optimization and search. We've got email marketing. Social media is a strategy that I would recommend to almost every one of my, of my businesses because everybody can, can benefit from, from word of mouth um, marketing. Um, and, and tapping into social media is, is, is huge and it's going to get bigger as more and more people use Facebook and um, LinkedIn and Twitter. And this next generation of, of teenagers comes through and they've all got their handhelds and they've all got their mobiles. You know, that's where they're going to be engaging and, and, uh, and engaging in social media. So, so social media is absolutely huge. And the same, we've got two very clever people this afternoon who are going to tell you more, more about it. So which ones are best? Well, if you've got a new website, um, then a brand new website, you know, you've just built it, uh, or maybe you've got an existing website, but no, nobody's coming to it, then the quickest way to get people and targeted visitors, so we're always talking about targeted visitors, getting targeted visitors to your site is to use pay-per-click uh, advertising. Go on to Google's keyword tool, find those keywords, create your adverts, and say be very clever about you know, the, the keyword uh, uh, selection and how you use them within your adverts. Uh, but you know, within a couple of hours, you can get targeted traffic coming to your site. So a brand new site, pay-per-click advertising is probably the, the first thing you'd want to do. Obviously, then you're, you're paying to get people to your site. So guess what? You, know, you want to make sure that you're, you're capturing their email address. So absolutely start an email marketing campaign from day one uh, and make every effort to capture the email addresses of people who come, who come to your site because you've paid, you paid for them to, to come there using your pay-per-click advertising. So don't let them off the hook um, if you can. Do whatever you can to actually capture their email address. Google Places, uh, if you've got a local business, as I say, um, that would be third on my list. Register with Google. It's totally free. And um, you could then be appearing within 24 or 48 hours when somebody types in uh, any kind of location-based search, Belfast, Ballymena, Northern Ireland even, um, will appear on Google. Social media. Social media is definitely sort of more of a slow burn, but if you don't start it uh, right at the start, then guess what? You know, it's going to take those months and, and sometimes even years uh, to actually kick in. Um, uh, we're actually working our, our, ourselves with, with um, James Nicholson, the wine merchant here. And one of the biggest success stories in the States um, is Wine TV and a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk who's got a $60 million plus wine business, online wine business. And he totally built it using um, video blogging. Uh, but it took him a year of creating a, a video blog, you know, basically talking about wine every day before that really started to kick in, you know. Um, so, so social media, you know, does take a little bit of time. Yes, you might be lucky in it, and you might create uh, a video that goes viral overnight and, and uh, millions of people start coming to your site, but those are exceptions, not the rule. Um, you know, social media does take time, but so you've got to start it because it, it, it's going to take a few months to actually kick in. Um, search engine optimization, absolutely. Again, you know, the, the sooner you start search engine optimization, the sooner your, um, your pages are going to appear at the top of the Google search uh, results. Um, you know, search again, search engine optimization takes at least three months, and increasingly we're seeing that stretching out to four to six months. And if you're trying to target a very particular you know, competitive term, you know, it can take a year, it can take even longer. You know, if somebody said to me, Richard, I absolutely want to be top of the search engines for Mortgages UK. You know, I would actually say to you, well, give me a blank check and I'll see you in a year, 18 months or so. Thanks very much. Um, that's the length of time. It's such a competitive term, you know, and, and so many people there. Um, and car insurance, that's an, there's another one there. You know, it's such a, such a competitive market. These companies are spending millions of pounds. They've got whole teams who are doing this thing. Um, you know, you, you're, you're probably never going to get there. Um, whereas if you do your keyword research, find the long tail, you know, then you can start to uh, optimize for those particular keywords. But again, the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get results. Um, online PR, absolutely. You know, tell the online press world, the bloggers, all the rest of it, that, that you're there, that you've got, you've got a business. There's um, a company here in town. The Bureau sell high-end men's fashion, um, you know, 350 quid for a you know, pair of shoes, that sort of type stuff. Um, they created a site, weren't sure what was going to happen. Um, and within um, a few months, they suddenly started getting this rush of traffic coming in. And what had actually happened is that one of New York's top fashion bloggers had found out about the Bureau website uh, and about some of the clothes that they, that they um, uh, provide. And they were telling people on their blog, 
you know, I see the Bureau in Belfast, or not even in Belfast, but I see the Bureau.com uh, have got the latest blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and people were flocking to the site, and suddenly they were doing thousands of pounds worth of business every day. And their offline business now, far, sorry, their online business now far outstrips their, their offline business. And it's just because there was somebody somewhere picked up on a bit of content, started blogging about it, and, and they got a result. So online PR is a great way of doing that. And similarly, articles, you know, you can create articles about the products and the services that you provide. There's, art, there's sites that specialize in, in content and, and, you know, come and speak to me afterwards. Um, but as well as, as great for search, in, you know, search engine optimization and getting links, um, you know, real people read these things and could potentially come through, come through to your site uh, as a result.